forgetting to move that file off my flash drive. Son of a bitch. Okay, guys, this is Bronze Boot Camp here. Game two this morning. Um, <laughs> had a little bit of a delay and stuff going on. But we are back uh, to give you more bronzy action. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is Bronze Boot Camp brought to you by the Trinity Force Podcast. If you don't know about them or want to learn more, head over to the website at www.trinityforcenetworknow.com. Dot com. You can find out all about their other stuff there. We got four different podcasts for you there, along with all of our information uh, for Battle Arena Bronze Boot Camp, where you can sign up, where all that information is when we go live. It's all there for you guys to check out, um, all in one convenient place. Uh, just remember, we do have a few rules for uh, Battle Arena and Bronze Boot Camp. Rule number one, there is no team speak. We want to make this as much like a solo queue environment as possible. Rule number two, if you see someone being toxic or any uh, behavior that would otherwise violate the Summoner's Code, please um, give us a screenshot in the game. That's the only way we can really tell uh, for sure what happened. And then number three, always have fun, you know. <laughs> we're trying to uh, help you guys improve but we really want you guys to have fun we want to make this a fun environment and that's why we don't really want people to be raging and stuff like that uh, just remember this is a game mode where uh, we are spectating people who are level 30 to silver 5 uh, we're going to offer lots of feedback that you guys can then go back and watch in um, YouTube or Twitch whatever you prefer their VODs will be available there afterwards so you guys can learn um, from the mistakes and stuff being made. And I think that is all. Wait. Right? Yeah, it should be. <laughs> okay, good. Oh. Uh, so, bans. Let's let's talk that. All Said Juani, them... Katerina, Morgan. Stop yeah. banning Katerina and yeah. LeBlanc. <laughs> Please. Okay, what's your reason behind that? I think that one, they're both relatively hard to play. Two, they're both a lot weaker in the Bruiser meta. And three, I, even before Bruiser meta, I don't think either of them were incredibly strong unless you're like a god at the bonk. Well, to be fair, Katarina, when Luden's Echo first came out, uh, before are... that time was. Yeah, you just, you, you just play scary. the piano, like, let's be honest. Katarina. Yeah. There's a guy who only yeah. plays Katarina. So, like, he's a good sample size for how strong she is for me. And he's sitting at Masters for a couple of months. I know him pretty well. Like, 50 LP or 100 LP. And he plays, like, five games a day. Mm -hmm. he, he's all the way down to Diamond 3 now because of how weak Katarina is in the current meta. And, like, not having DFG. Yeah, but meta doesn't really follow that much in solo queue, really. People still tend to pick what they want in bronze and silver. And Katarina is such a good snowballer where people don't know how to CC chain that well, and she just gets out of control. Yeah, that being said, when you're considering bans, it should really come from um, the amount that that person has played versus their win rate. Uh, or either that, or just if you really can't play against that person. But like that being said, I don't think there's a whole lot of picks right now that like automatically deserve a ban. Sejuani's banned so often now because like it's the closest that you can get to someone that needs to be banned. Yeah. But it's really not a huge problem. There just aren't other big priorities. Which yeah, is a good I, thing. Like Sejuani's probably the not like the only one that I can think of which is basically a, still a must ban. I like I don't even think she's a must ban. It's just like she just comes first to mind right now cuz there aren't any people that really um, I think have to ban anymore. Solo Q, she's still really strong. True, like, I'm not saying she's not strong, she's definitely strong. Scion. Yeah. Scion, The other true. person I, I ban. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, if I'm not playing Scion, then I don't want the enemy playing him. Okay, so, picking up Tarek first pick, that is a bold strategy. Yeah, it really <laughs> yeah. was. Yeah, at least at least you're picking it with Illusion, so you can make good use of your stun. In, in general, like Derek's in this really weird spot. Like ever since season three, where right, like they didn't like hit him with a nerf bat. They like stomped him into the ground with like iron cleats after shooting him in the head execution style. 
Like, it's a bit strong. Was, oh, no, no. In terms of, like, how strong, like, if you guys don't remember, in Season 3, like, in the preseason, he was picker ban. Like, Tarek was ridiculous. <laughs> as weird as it sounds, he was ridiculous. Yeah. And he would, he would literally just, like, hit you with one spell and then use his passive and chunk you for, like, a fourth of your health. It was stupid. But after that, Riot just hit him over and over and over again with nerfs. And ever since then, he's become a very niche pick. And if you pick him really early, people just do what Purple Side did, which is, oh, well, we're just going to get a bunch of, like, hybrid magic damage. <laughs> I'm going to assume Bonesaw learned his Tark from Frown, or Frown converted him. Yeah. I just got a message from Shamwell saying he's never going to be playing Vayne again. Because I'm pretty sure in weeks prior yeah, he kept playing you. Vayne and it wasn't working out. <laughs> also, I love the yeah. fact that I can just say Shamwell and you guys know who I'm talking about. He, he like, hovered Vayne and I was like, please, no, not again. <laughs> yeah. Vayne really takes a lot of practice. And if you like her enough to do it, yeah, go ahead. Learn her. But otherwise, you know, probably That's pick a different AD weird. carry. She's also a very weird AD carry. She's kind of like Gwyn in some, like to some extent, where she's like a duelist at, like in the mid game. In the mid game, Quinn's an assassin. Uh, <laughs> Playing yeah, her right, she's an assassin. Yeah, yeah. I think it depends. Like top lane, she's like duelist. Yeah, AD and... carry. Yeah. I don't know. I, I I haven't played Quinn in a while. I I wish. Like I I used to love playing Quinn. Who but... played Quinn? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I've played a shit ton of Quinn before. Like I've seen I've seen Quinn fall like in terms of like top lane pick, her her popularity drop a bit just mm -hmm. because of like the the blind changes. Yeah. Uh but anyways <laughs> uh back to the picks at hand here. Everyone is locked in. Let's talk a little bit about each okay. of the lanes. Um yeah, what the heck indeed. Is Mundo going top and not taking T P? Well then it's I think so. That would make yeah. the most sense. Not a whole like, lot of it, but it makes some sense. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. I Cinder Hulk on Mundo is strong, but without TP. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Quinzy <your> Bay. <laughs> but, yeah, like, the whole thing with picking Smite is it's it's an alternative for your flash. It's not an alternative for your TP. I can see why he he opted for the for the flash, and that's because of Jarvan's ultimate. But mm -hmm. I I still don't think it's like worth the trade off. Yeah. So it looks like it will be Mundo versus Cyan though in the top lane. Uh. Generally, Mundo can win this. Like he does, he just does too much hybrid damage, and you as, uh, and hybrid damage is like evil, evil stepsister that you don't want to deal as when you're playing Scion or Nasus, because you can't itemize for it properly. So what would be your, like, be best case scenario for itemization for Scion here? Would you still go for, like, the Frozen Heart, or what are you looking to do? Uh, yeah, you'd probably still go Frozen Heart, and then that, or you'd start building toward Frozen Heart and just get, like, a Null Magic Mantle. But okay. still build toward the Frozen Heart. Like, the biggest issue is that uh, Mundo does like current ma like current he, health. Like, a lot damage. of his most of his skills do do um magic damage. Yeah, yep. and then his E gives him like a huge AD steroid that's yeah. ridiculous. But like, I w wouldn't it be better like maybe to rush um into like a Specter's Cal and then just go Frozen Heart from there? Uh, it, it's weird because uh you don't uh, on at least Scion you don't necessarily go frozen heart for the cdr because generally your cooldowns aren't that long to begin with you really want it for the mana mm -hmm. because like that that's that's the main way you're gonna tr do trades and uh and harass and getting like a larger mana pool is more is better than just buying like three mana potions okay so demon lord odin our um mundo player says in chat he likes to have an escape and that's all well and good, but then maybe you should take, shouldn't take Smite. I play a lot of. Oh, uh, where is he playing? One of the top. That, that's yeah. the top. Uh, that's honestly why you don't run uh like Smite, Smite teleport on other champions aside from like, 
uh, Shivana and Hecarim, and that's because they have built-in escapes through, like, within their kit. While Mundo, it's okay. Well, I'm kind of screwed against the Jarvan. It's good on Mundo. You want to run some like TP. The biggest thing on Mundo is you really want to pay attention to wave control mm -hmm. and not burn out the wave. Or you really had to really play safe. <laughs> Like, if you freeze it in front of your tower, it's fine. Yeah. Just, you really need to understand land control if you don't play with Flash. But okay. I, I think TP Smart is the way to go on Mundo. Alright, so our mid lane matchup, Zed versus Corky. I would like to see Barry and Corky. It mitigates Zed, and I don't really know how useful Exhaust is going to be unless that goes on him all game. Whereas Barry actually has some, like, usefulness all around. Because nobody else on their team is really going to dive him. It's exhaustible. Uh, it's a very awkward spell for me. I think Barrier kind of does similar things to Mitigate Zed, but it has more like all-around usefulness. Yeah, this should be a pretty free lane for Corky-wise. If Zed ults Corky, he can just Valkyrie away. The only chance Zed has to kill is if he ults him without dashing first with his W. But that would require Corky to be really out of position. And the way Zed. Zed wins this is he just harasses with a shadow. Zed would, the way Zed would want to play this is he'd want to get on top of Corky and bilge water and start his autos. And then he'd want to try and ult while Corky backwards so he ports with him and then kill him. And you'd do that by just using bilge water on Corky and orb walking kind of a little behind him. Similar to how you play Blitz into Corky when you want to power fist Valkyrie. Okay, so, oh, we're in game already, wow. Well, we got the first minute and a half. Let's talk a little bit about our bottom matchup. Game matchup. Lucian and Tarek should win, though. They have, like, stupid strength in line. Yeah, the the only way, like, uh, Lucian, Lucian Tarek loses is if, basically, Lucian gets thresh hooked into Jinx chompers, and then they just blow him up. Well, that's a real thing that could be happening come level 2 here. I, They have a much stronger level 2 than the Tarek yeah. and Lucian. So, I, I, it's up to debate, like... I agree that, like, the Lucian Tarek can be a much safer lane, but if, um... Jinx and Thresh are able to apply more pressure, they can make it work and separate the two and make the Tarek stun virtually useless. I just think the base stats and the base damage on like Tarek Lucian is way too strong unless Thresh plays disengage perfectly on stun. Mm. Which I, I don't know how likely it is to happen. There is a lot of Thresh matchups though. Like it comes down to how well Thresh plays. Like It's like a flowchart of skills that need to happen in a certain order. Yeah. If Thresh doesn't do it correctly, like Thresh is a lot weaker than other champions. Yeah, like, uh, basically the way this is probably gonna play out is Terra's gonna stun, Lucian's gonna E in to try to trade with Jinx, and then mm -hmm. Thresh is gonna want to hook Lucian right at, like, right as he, uh, as he uses Z, so that basically there is no trade going on, but because, uh, Thresh hook's actually slightly longer, I believe, he than, uh, spawn. than Terra's stun. Terra at rank 1, it's 1.2. Uh, hmm. Jinx should be able to get in like an auto attack or two. Time. Interesting invade. Game should be working. And Corky, in, 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 in any case where you have a spell that lets you see the enemy or gives you vision, you should probably use it. Zed, if Zed had ignited and, and or flash auto, he would have a kill there. Really yeah, I see a lot of off. people that like they start an invade like this, and then as soon as someone flashes, like oh, okay, that's good. They won't burn their own flash to try to get the kill. Darvin needs to help plot though. If Zed had ignited and he health plotted, he would have lived. But if mm -hmm. Zed like uh, what you want to call it ignites and he doesn't health plot, he dies. Yeah. So, so if Zed I had played that correctly, he would have died if he didn't health plot. So I want to talk about this here, like, for a support, um, you, you really don't buy a ward first anymore. 
Um, the fact that you're losing out on getting an extra two potions, basically, yeah, really hurts your laning much worse in a time where you really don't need to have an extra um, ward, just because there isn't that much jungle pressure anymore in the early game where you'd be using that ward. It's... Like, Thresh, Thresh is being way too passive in this lane, like, or at least he was. Like, he was basically just letting, uh, Lucian... And mm -hmm. that, like, led to a really bad trade. Um, if he would have honestly been auto-attacking in, in the time that Lucian was just going, basically, uh, to some extent, all in on the Jinx, mm -hmm. Lucian be in a way worse position. Lucian needs I, to learn to, like, last hit Piercing Light and hit Jinx at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like, there was a point where Lucian was literally, like, right in front of Thresh, and Thresh didn't land, nah, uh, didn't hook him. Yeah. This is not what you want to do against Mundo, either. Just push Raven to tower for him. Oh. One of Mundo's weaknesses is getting ganked. And you're kind of removing that and just giving him free farm at this point. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's, that's one of the big Scion disadvantages that people like don't put into account. Is like Scion, in order to harass, generally has to push a wave because like of the amount of AOE that's in his kit. Ooh. Like right, like right here, top lane, Scion honestly should be basically denying Mundo the CS. Like, he should just be zoning him for all that he's worth. Yeah. Instead of just constantly shoving the wave. <laughs> yeah. He's still trying to play old Scion where you put points into your E. At least he put a point into his E and one into his Q. It's and... such a long fight, holy god. What the hell yeah, they're still... I would have thought they just backed off by now, but no. Yeah, Red Team, you should probably just should have backed there. You had no reason to stay in that tri bush. Mm -hmm. There was no objectives to take. A little bit too greedy on their part. Like, Scion needs to be freezing this wave, like, halfway or something like he need he need he just needs to reset it now i don't understand why he's trying to freeze it now right in front of his turret that's exactly where mundo wants it yeah <laughs> i like the fact that um lucian went back and did just buy the extra dorans instead of just sitting on that gold like we talked a little bit about last game, but especially when you die that early, it's better to try to get some more combat effectiveness. Um, which Doran's Blades are really great with. Like, if you die early, Doran's Blade, another Doran's Blade will give you everything you need to try to stay alive. Just don't go full Genja and build another one. Don't build Frozen Heart. Frozen Mal- what? Genja's built Frozen Heart before on ADCs. Okay. It's- <laughs> it's different. That's- yeah, that's different for sure. <laughs> okay. So Thresh, you have to be careful when you're trying to engage. You just went in- uh, oh wait, never mind. Sorry. That was- my bad. I never mind. I Jinx could have chompered there yeah. and like gotten some free harass. But I agree with the sign, you, it is just time to just try to reset the lane. Did he just ult back into lane and yeah. just teleport? Yeah. Yeah, see, like, it was just, you're shoving out the whole lane and now you're gonna be ganked. Okay, Scion, in, in these types of situations, as Scion, you do one of two things. You either go back, and when you go back, you ult back into lane, or you ult another lane, and then you teleport into your lane. Yeah. Like, you, you just wasted two of uh, the biggest, uh, I want to say, map, press, like, pressuring spells in the game, and you really achieved nothing. 
Okay, so can Corky really do much to roam? Just hit his CS and like farm. That yeah. is sick something. Bro. And Sion should die. He, he deserves to be punished for the way he's been playing. Damn, that's rough. He just been playing. Way well, he too made a rough on himself. To be yeah, fair, he's been playing way too aggressively while getting while while the aggression has actually just been helping Mundo because it removes Mundo's weakness. Mm -hmm. Especially when Mundo was already at like twenty percent health, and Sion just let him find farm safely under turret. Yeah, Mundo's like he doesn't have TP. So you don't have to kill him, you can just, I don't know, punish him for not taking it after you made that play to ult back in the lane. And I, that wasn't what you needed to do there. You need to freeze him when he had like 10%, not pushing it again. No, no, to be fair, he did freeze it simply outside of Mundo's turret. Yeah, that's not, that's not freezing. I mean, it's Mundo freezing essentially. I show no mercy. Solution oh. really needs to like hit people with piercing light. I haven't seen yeah. any jinx with it once this game. It really is an adjustment, <laughs> and it really like hate to be like freak here, but it really separates the good Lucian players from the okay ones. I would say it separates like the people who are not playing Lucian to the people who are using his abilities on champions. Whoa, Terra DC. Yeah, I, it looks like that. Yeah, easy. I think so. Healed. No, that was a uh, uh, Lucian that heal. Yeah. Uh, Lucian didn't even auto attack in that entire trade either. I was Jarvan executed himself on a not even gonna say anything. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Rito, making these camps too hard. Yeah. Okay. So, Mundo, obviously going for Cinder Hulk right away. Scion, looks like Righteous Glory. Yeah, I like Glory Rush this game. Okay. Why do you like it this game? Yeah, uh, it's not a great game to rush hard, and any other item he'd rush, like, just isn't effective for an, a pretty long period of time. Like, if he goes Visage, Visage is like a selfish item, which isn't what mm -hmm. Scion wants. If he goes Cal onto something, it's 4,000 gold in place, something that's useful. Whereas Glory should be sufficient to beat Mundo with on Scion, and it's it's very useful once you get out of lane. Okay. Yeah, a lot of pearls are tend to be rushing either Righteous Glory or Sunfire Kit now on Scion. Sunfire? Yeah. Westrus has hard. been doing it quite a bit. Westrus is not good though. Is hey, yeah, I would. Like, well, what, what we're talking about good, like he's top tier, and when it comes to solo queue, top fucking percent. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, like boy, boy, like he kind of troll builds. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily agree with the Sunfire keep. Uh, the 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 issue with going um, Sunfire, especially in this matchup, is the fact you'll just be pushing the wave in more than you already are, which, at like, like I said before, like Scion already has enough of an issue because of that due to like all his AoE so you really don't want to like incentivize that usually I know uh, they do I'm not it. saying first build Sunfire in this type no, no, of no, match no, no, I know, I know. Um, just depending on the matchup uh, the, the Righteous Glory is iffy on Scion in this matchup too because you're like probably not gonna kill anyone the issue that Scion's doing at this point is the fact that he's just pushing and then just sitting there like, what he really needs to do is just be affecting other places on the map. Like, he's not doing mm -hmm. anything top lane other than letting uh, Mundo free farm and putting himself in a really terrible position. I could see Sunfire for the same reason you get team out of Rengar. If he queues a wave once with Sunfire on top of it, you can just one-shot it and roam. But, like, if you, if you want Sunfire Sion, you actually have to roam. Because that's why you're buying the item. Yeah, it just depends on the situation, really. It, make, it makes sense from a roaming standpoint. 
Just it, it Sunfire is not a very cost effective item. If you're not gonna get Rome out of it, it's probably weaker than everything else. Especially on Scion. Scion's not generally a champion that's gonna dive you under turret. He doesn't have the damage output and he doesn't have like the hard CC lockdown in order to do it safely. So but he does have the pushing power, like that's innately built into his kit. So you really need to be either pushing really hard or freezing and denying your enemy the lane. But Sion's not really doing anything, he's just leaving himself out there for Gragas to come in and do whatever he wants with. Uh, like, a lot of this is gonna come down to, like, uh, when Sion decides to roam. Mm -hmm. Hey, we can get back to the game. Alright, so I'll be curious to see what Corky, what Corky actually ends up building. Whether if he's just going like the eighty carry Corky build, or if he's going the uh, Ludens Corky build, Ludens, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the Ludens build, but I he understand it. AP, so it wouldn't be that bad. Yeah. I'm on pro builds right now. I don't, I don't see Sunfire in like the top twenty games. The West Rice game to Frozen Hunt, too. That was a good effort. But I still, they're not gonna have enough to. Oh, uh, yeah, look at that. No, they will. Zion's just getting really. So, yeah. hopefully, by that second time, he'll realize it's time to change. And blue and red side needs to realize that I guess is just running in and out of their jungle and then really need to be. Like, really need to be putting down pinks in their own jungle Ooh, at this Gragas point. Oh, Gragas killed that pink. Gragas made a smart play going top with ult if he's actually timing Sion flash. Because he knew Sion didn't have it from the last time he came. Good play. Lucian's always um, but like, Jinx is full health. Not attacking Jinx is kind of really bothering them. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's losing all of his mana here. Oh. The Q creeps. Fun by yeah. Lucian. <laughs> like, you can Q creeps, that's fine, but you should be using it to also harass. Find Aces eighty K if you're gonna do that, I don't know. You have to fight people bot. Mm-hmm. Don't actually play Nasus eighty K. Poor Terrace, man. That Thresh could have gotten like traded on so hard. There, that, that Thresh would have died if uh. Lucian had mana. Lucian did yeah. anything. Yeah. Well, I, I don't actually think he needed that ma ma that much mana anyway. I think he just needed to use his E and. He yeah, I mean, Tark would have gone in ER. Is that up? Yeah, it's up, isn't it? Like Lucian needs to stop playing so passively. I mean, you can say the same of the other lane. Yes. Doing okay. Thresh yes. is trying to. Yeah, yeah at the same. Trying to be aggro. That's the biggest yeah. issue. Is like they're not. There's this huge disconnect, and because of that, Thresh is just getting like traded one-sidedly. And the problem right now is Lucian hasn't gone back. He's still sitting on two Doran's blades versus pickaxe and a BF sword. I will say that. Like people, stop doing that. Like you are literally just screwing yourself over. Yeah. Thunder like, he had a chance to go there. back before, but instead he tried to back in full sight of the enemy team. And yeah, I mean, he's sitting on 2500 gold. That's way too much gold to be sitting on. I will say that that was a good reactive uh, teleport by Scion. Jinx Rocket? So uh, Jinx? Yeah, we Jinx still got Jinx rocket. Rocket. Okay. rocket! Rocket! It's next to E and T. <laughs> it's below four. Rocket! There. Oh. Uh, wow. God damn it, man. Just press R. Yeah, you should have just oh, done it where you can still see him. Like, overvaluing your old. I'm trying to get on with it. With that long R. That's not even a long R. I don't know why he did it. It went cool if he based and then shot it, but... That was an interesting dive. 
Mm -hmm. I would like to see Lucian like flash E uh, more quickly and just kill her. Honestly, honestly, that that really was Jinx's fault. Like Scion, when it like was tanking it, like she should have recognized it. She should have reacted a lot sooner. Like like I said, she's just playing way too passively. Lucian, kill her. Do it. Meanwhile, in the top lane, they're oh, both playing. Mean, right man. Man. <laughs> Proxy farm OP. Yeah. Thunder's got fifteen hundred. Once he backs, like. He's gonna be an unmovable wall. Speaking of backing, Lucian. Yep, fuck it, he's just gonna over. wait. <laughs> he's only got 600 more gold until he can finish IE. I'm gonna make a note on Corky. You're playing Mondo Gragas. I'd really like to see the Leandri's Corky this game. Lucian, for the love of God, go back. <laughs> You you are making this lane like twenty times harder on yourself because of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's always own because he went back. Yeah. Uh, that and he's lacking items, so he can't. <laughs> I think like, he just will just right. wait for IE at this point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is doing that. <laughs> oh, you gotta hit your CS though. So. Yeah, that's true. A hundred at fifteen. It's not awful. No, but Jinx one should be punishing for punishing him for this. Mm -hmm. Like L Lucian. Even Lucian, like, I'm gonna assume Lucian knows, like, that what he was doing wasn't the smartest thing to do, and that's why he was playing so passively. Uh huh. In terms of trading. But... Well, I mean, in that case, he should have just gone back. Yeah, exactly. Like, he, he literally, like, screwed, like, himself and Tarek over in a lot of, like, possible win, like, winning trades just because he didn't want to go back. Lucian's just playing ARAM style, he can only go back when he dies. Gragas just killed him with Thunderhawk. What a pity, he was only 200 gold away from getting IE. Alright, really... so, critical point again. Lucian should have yeah. gone BF, pickaxe, Q2 boots. boots. Yep. Yeah. He wouldn't have had enough to finish the boots. Would he, no? Yeah, no, he had 34, he had enough. Uh, okay. with, with Mujo, do you, guys, do you guys also agree that instead of getting tier 2 boots, he probably should have gotten like a giant spell in tier 1? If he had it? Yeah. Alright, at the very least, like, a ruby crystal in tier 1. Yeah, Mark Threads are really expensive and it's not exactly a team that you necessarily have to have it. Yeah, like the only person that's really gonna do any, the only two people that's really gonna do anything for it, uh, James Corky. Chompers and well, uh, Thresh, Thresh Hook. Well, also okay. the magic resist for Corky. Alright, so I play a lot of Mundo. You're playing against double AD and Jarvan Jungle, and yeah, you already have free tenacity from your W. You would have gone Ninja Tabbies this game anyway. Uh huh. And they're cheaper by 200 gold. They are. You also have a good MR item and Spirit Visage to get, so it's not like, I don't know, you don't have another choice. Zion should be reacting to this window and not chasing Zed around. Oh, Tom and Burn, baby. I'm driving in, I'm helping. Rocket? Uh -oh. Yeah, she already used it. That's what she got the kill on the Tark. Oh, that was so close time. Okay, so this is general rule of thumb, I call it the 15 second rule. Most gap closers in League are about 15 seconds. So when you Scion ult and Zed has an ult used Shadow in 15 seconds, you need to be careful. Unless you're Jax at 6 seconds because Riot... Doesn't care. Yeah. What is Living Shadow? 15.3. See, the rule holds true. I use that in bot lane a lot too. Like mm -hmm. Liam, that's about 15. And I think Wukong's is 9. Like, and it's static. Sounds weird though. That's a good flash body slam. You want to try and body slam first and then flash, like, kind of, I don't know, during, so you DI it, but that's not bad.
Bop. Bop it. Twist it. I okay. don't like the... Sorry, shut up, boys, down, Gragas. You want to get skirmishes or chilling. Usually skirmishes. He doesn't really need help clearing. Mm-hmm. Alright, so, um... Let's see. We're now 20 minutes into the game. Basically a 1k gold lead for blue team, but with one dragon in the lead. Uh, but a turret deficit. Where do you guys see this game going in the next 10 minutes? Uh, I think the I team that picks the fights is going to win the fights. I, I personally think that's in red team's advantage. Not in terms of goal, but simply on the basis that... Simply on the basis that uh, Scion has, like, o overall more map pressure. Or should have overall more map pressure. It's all gonna depend on how the Zed plays in the next team fight. Oh, boy. I will say Scion should save that, like, a uh, bigger priority target, but... Uh... Ben needs to ult to carry, not to execute Jarvan. Like, he got a kill, but he lost the fight for it. Do not. Gragas is overpowered. <laughs> What's Gragas building out of giant spell and chain this? Sunfire cave. Sunfire, probably. <laughs> oh, so that's not how you build Sunfire anymore, guys. <laughs> Oh yeah. oh, yeah, that's right, I forgot. <laughs> Pff, I don't know, though. Go, Scion, kill. Oh, Scion's sad he, now. He, he, he sh obviously, Scion should have been better and died while his righteous glory was up, because that's just broken. Yeah. Anyone, anyone who does that knows what I mean by how, like, stupid, ridiculous righteous glory with, with your zombie form is. No, oh, red team, don't surrender. Oh, really? They failed the vote, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, first of all, they, there's no point in surrendering in this game mode. But second of all, why would you surrender here? You still have plenty you can do. You're not, like, that far down. Like, if you get a good team fight with Jinx and now Corky with his Trinity Force completed, you're looking pretty strong. Yeah, I will, I will say this. Garvin. You got warriors. Bad. I don't Bad know. Warriors. That's no, fine. No, no, most, I say that mostly just because, like, Cinder Hulk is so good right now that it's like, eh. But as long as, like, you're making... <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you're up a kill early game on Jarvan and you're making an impact, I think warriors is fine. The fact it's that he's... not even up a kill. Like, if you're, like, 3-0-3, three, three, you get it. If you're not, you just get Cinder Hulk. You need to be up a lot to get it. But if you're playing Jarvan, you should be up a lot. One kill isn't that much. Okay, uh... Zion just halted into the wall. Um. Yeah. Jungle isn't a fun place for Zion to use that. <laughs> it's a Jarvan, it isn't either, but... Uh, yeah. With a Jarvan. Oh, Tico got it for me. Wow, it's in this every turn. Oh. Still got yeah. the kill. Oh! Oh, wow. boy. Broken tower. Please report. Turn around! Gra okay, Greg. <laughs> that was a good smite. I'm glad yep. that he recognized the keys to heal. Okay. So we have a black cleaver showing up again here. That's in the grand hair. God damn it. Yeah. So black cleaver on Zed. No. No. If you get it, get it like fourth, fifth, or sixth. Yeah. It, oh, it, as weird as it sounds, I honestly want to say it's arguably better now than it used to be because of the new black cleaver passes. Uh. Uh, when you upgrade it completely, any type of physical damage uh, gives you the phage proc, 
Did he cancel his own? He was he probably just spamming the key over and over again, yeah. Oh! Oh! Nice. That was scope. But yeah, but as far as like Black Cleaver goes, they made it more of a defensive item. It's not as much as an offensive item. And for Zed early game, you need to be maximizing in offense and just straight armor pen. So instead of Black Cleaver, just buy a Last Whisper. And later on, you can still get a Black Cleaver as well, but it's yeah. not an item that you'd rush. People who tend to build Black Cleaver tend to want to attack the tanks just because how much armor they're building. And generally, carries don't and to have a lot of armor or MR on them. Uh huh. So, it's not a really good item for Zed since your priority targets will be Jinx and Corky this game. So, Zed's ult is magic, so you don't ult in with any stacks. And then, like, you ult it. I mean, Black Fever works once you land your skills, but that's like the second half of your ult if you hit everything. I'm an awkward five. Mm hmm. Yeah, your ultimate damage doesn't give you anything from shredding armor. It's all just your other skills. Which is still a good amount. Ooh, that actually played that really well. Yeah. The first half of it. Good flash bites, man. Yeah, Red Team just kinda like went in. They, they were all together to some extent, but they kind of just went in one at a time in terms of being picked off. They didn't so, really stick together. Bundo and Gragas don't want to rush Thorn Man either of those champions. Gragas <laughs> wants Frozen Heart for the CDR if he wants an armor item. And Mundo either random and scales with your Cinder Hulk and your ultimate. So you should just get random ones before you get Thorn Man. Hell, I might have just gone Warmogs after Cinder Hulk. I like random ones because you can double AD Jarvan side. Uh huh. Well, it's like tanky. one and a half AD. Two if you count Jarvan. Yeah. Because Corky really is 50 50. Like Not like they have a black top or something. Yeah. The, one re the only reason why Scion de actually deal does well against uh, Mundo is because Scion deals percentage health damage. But that, that's why I, I, I might have been more hesitant with the whole Warmog, but I would agree with the, the Spirit Visage. Whoa, that was a good call. Oh, oh Lucian. Base tanking is never a good idea. No, Jinx, don't auto anymore. He played that fight so well, and then he decided not to play it well anymore. <laughs> It's a hit tab, like, this shouldn't happen. You should see when they're spawning and when they're coming oh. back. Although, like, red team kind of threw. It could have turned out really badly. The biggest issue is Scion tried to play, like, a front line instead of, like, peeling for the back line. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, like, this is what I'll say to, like, anyone that ever plays Scion, it's... Yeah, sure, you're you're huge, tanky, and unkillable, and yeah, you do some, some burst damage. But you also have a lot of utilities that... A lot of CC that your AD carry can utilize when he's trying to stay alive. So it's best just to sit back there like an Alistair and just knock people up. You're great engaged. It, like, if you can get, like, the, the perfect line of sight for it, but... You're it's not... Awesome. You're not gonna be, like, this huge, scary monster unless you have, like, one or two offensive items. When you take Baron, the recall is four seconds. So, like, if you hit Tab and they're anywhere close to rushing it, just get into a good recall spot. It's a really good habit to get into, just, like, hitting Tab constantly, because you should know what's going on. It looks like he's getting glory and something else. I'm not the biggest fan of glory and Dragus. It's okay. I don't know. It's, it works on him. Play swap accounts. Like, Jinx really should be trying to help Zion with chompers or slow or something. Mm hmm.
That's thorn mill damage. <laughs> I, I don't care. I, I don't care what kind of AD carry or how fed you are. You should never be in melee mode, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kiting's the name of the game. Hi, Sai. Uh, like if he, if Corky wouldn't have been like in his face, he <laughs> actually probably would have killed Sion. Like a lot, a lot of it, the damage he was taking was from Sion's empowered E or empowered autos from his E. Well, he was probably in rain for his uh, Cinder Hulk too. I don't like that Mundo skin. I think weightlifting Mundo is much better. Uh, it's all about the corporate Mundo. Thank you. You're fired. He starts spam D even rift. All game. Mundo say you're fired. I mean, it'll cost to be Mundo Mundo. That one's pretty good too. I use Mundo Mundo when we put these. You throw out plastic cleavers that make squeaky noises. <laughs> yes, exactly like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, he got one. Did he sell his catalyst? No, he got glory too. Wow. That guy is just gonna be hard to kill, man. Yeah, Jinx like or Corky don't have any armor pen right now. So. Art or Vanduis instead of one of the health items, but yeah, other than that, it's pretty good. Corky's getting Leandre's, which is good. I think that's the right second item in this game. The quirky mid. It's constant to CS. Quirky and if you play carry in your last sitting score, you'll hit third item, which is usually your penetration item so slowly that like tanks are just really hard to deal with. Grace the last is fun purple. They can't afford it, guys. Like, I think it's Jinx's next item, but... Got, like, far behind. Mm -hmm. CS, yeah. I'm not gonna tell her, but let for a second. She's getting it third. She's doing the right thing. Yeah, She's I, just yeah. really broke. I, I know this is gonna sound very... Uh, like, of a, a very generic slash horrible piece of advice, but as Scion, you should never die more than, like, three times. <laughs> just because, like, you're such a huge meat wall where you should never be, like, Put it put into those type of positions, but like I said, it's a really bad like piece of criticism. But like basically, what you're saying is you need to work more on not dying and like yeah. three three deaths is one thing, but having eight deaths, uh, half of your team's deaths actually. Yeah, as like, is another the giant tank wall you, that shouldn't be happening. Like the best way to explain it is I don't remember who said it, but it's that you're a tank. Just because you're a tank doesn't mean you should be dying. Quite the opposite. If you ever raided me, that usually wipes your raid. Like that, that just means you're like the critical piece of the team mm -hmm. and you're being removed as a critical piece of the team. I think if you're dying 8 to 10 times a game on anybody, you should try to like, take a break and watch some replays because that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> and like, we talked like... about this earlier on, a lot of those deaths in the early game were just due to him just shoving lane constantly. Yeah. He plays the lane well mechanically, even when he is down like 2 deaths. But... Uh, like, uh, no, no, but no, what? The, biggest, the biggest issue was like not just that he pushed the lanes, but the fact that clearly saw Mundo had no teleport, uh -huh. and Mundo, for the longest time, was stuck at like 20% health, and all he did was farm under turret, and Scion didn't abuse that, he simply kept shoving the wave and then freezing it right outside of Mundo's turret range, mm -hmm. so Mundo got to like, efficiently farm without ever having to worry about dying. Alright, so I'm gonna make a note on tap again. Why this push is really bad from blue team? Baron is live, and it's been live, and they should be, one, tapping for recalls, and two, know that Baron is up, and if they throw right here and get them Baron, they let them back into the game. Fion, you shouldn't be chasing, you don't have the damage potential to take down a tank. Yeah, you just don't overextend in base when Baron's up, it's not a good play. Good job, Kai. <laughs> good job, kid. Uh, she almost killed herself in the Thornmail. Uh. 
Yeah, but she still made it out. Yeah, that was good kiting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, it is. I think Corky should go Void now. Void and Leandre synergize really well together. And he's almost level 16, so his rockets will be pretty effective. Big mistake I'm seeing Corky make in a lot of these fights is he's not going into the fight with the big one. It's mm -hmm. like Cannon, or TF, or Corky. Blue Star, Stack Deck, or Rocket, if at all possible, go into a fight with like your front loaded burst already ready. Or sometimes you do one short, so one rocket off red, so you can poke once. Alright, so. No, Corky, you could have Valkyrie away. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, he was there, but he could at least Valkyrie over the wall. Apparently, he's being a little salty. Alright. So, <laughs> uh. anyways. Dude, we saw surrender votes for a while. Mm-hmm. Anyway, if somebody's a screenshot, or like if people can verify, that would be helpful. Yep. Oh! Hey, they got onto the um carry. Lemon needs to play the middle of the fight better. He's getting lucky that they're really gold star, but beelining at Jinx may not be the best way to play Lemon though. Mm -hmm. Also, remember to smite her with your skirmisher. He's kind of forgetting to sometimes. Alright, never mind. Corky put in all chat for me. <laughs> okay. We good boy. Okay, so that'll be game two. I think we had enough people around that we can still do a game three. Yeah. Yeah. I can't screenshot some of that. Oh, I hate... Does anybody know the answer to that? Because I get that question once in a while. I what? I a screenshot on a Mac. I don't um, a screenshot on a Mac. No, I don't know. I thought there was a key in a uh, League, if it like F10 or something like that. It, one of the F keys will screenshot in League. Uh, so if you wanna just if you just Google that um, screen, actually it's probably in the controls. If you look for that, you can find it. Command shift four. Command shift four. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, stream's gonna go down. We'll be back in a few minutes.